Jim, so excited you're on the show tonight. There's no more legendary brand in the world of music than Daddario. And you're an innovation company, we're an innovation company, and we thought, let's put some of our ideas together and bring some products to market. So here we have our dual soft, fast string technology. And this is really soft spring strings, but also really fast. So when you get into that solo, it's gonna be like but it's soft, you know what I mean? And then and then this one is totally awesome. Our jailbreak, uh, our jailbreak string. That's gonna give you so much finger speed coming right off, of, right off of the guitar. What do you think? Um, I think we've kind of been doing strings for a while, and uh, don't you have a show to do? No, live show, no script. What could possibly go wrong? You hadn't been here for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> this is Cowie Live. I'm Harry Arnett, and uh, I, I love shows like tonight, and let me tell you why. We have all different types of guests on the show, as you know. We've had tour players. We've had people from media, great broadcasters like Mike Tirico. We've had uh, athletes. We've had entertainers. And some of the, my favorite people that we've had on the show have been people from the world of business. And tonight on the show, we have a great American from a great American business. There's no more legend legendary brand name in the world of music than Daddario. And we're at Callaway, we're like, oh, we've been around 35 years, we've been innovating 35 years, 35. We even have like license plates that are like 35 years of innovation. <laughs> Jim Daddario and his family have been innovating. They started out as a little guitar string company in Italy. They have been making, <laughs> I don't even know if they could have license plates for this. They have been making stuff for musical instruments, accessories to make them sound better. Ready? 350 years. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for, uh, we have some kids in the, in the room. 350, you're applauding 350, like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll applaud that. 350 is more than 35. <laughs> so, please welcome to Callaway Live a great American and a great businessman from a really cool company, Jim Daddario. Great. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have a seat. Absolutely. 350 years. And I should have mentioned the greatest nickname I've ever heard other than hashtag Chad, Jimmy Strings. Oh. <laughs> so you had a career ahead of you if you didn't get into the family business. Am I right, Jimmy Strings? Could, could have been. So I've, I've had a little bit of uh, time myself working in the family business. And my question for you, and I asked you this earlier, looking at the long history, not one instance of one family member assassinating the other family member <laughs> in the family business. What's kept it all together for that long run? Luck. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a challenge at times. I mean, we learned a lot uh, from watching my grandfather and my father and my father with us. And now I've got nine of the next generation already involved in the business. So we actually work with family business counselors and we, we spend a lot of time getting it right. I think we should work on that in our group, some family business counselors. <laughs> and you know, so how do, like, how do you keep everyone motivated in the family business? Because it's always there for them and they probably grew up in it and surrounded by it. Well, we don't pay them on Friday if they don't work right oh, now. Oh, I like that. <laughs> we definitely we're, can duplicate that. No, we're, 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 we're pretty, hard on ourselves and we're, we're demanding as a family and uh, we have certain core values that we've set. We created a brand book with, with a brand purpose of inspiring performance for musicians and we have certain core values that we live by and we really stick to them and I think that helps keep family and non-family members, you know, on the right track. You slap them around. Are you allowed to slap people around in the family business a Not little bit? Not really. Oh, you can't do that? No. And then the musician part has to be uh, just such a labor of love to be around people that are creating art for a living. And the, the products that you make, 
they're going to know immediately if they're going to make them themselves sound better. Yeah, it's great. It's a, I mean, it's very similar to the golf business. That's why uh, I like the golf business so much. I think there's a lot to be learned from what you guys do. Um, we innovate in similar ways, and and you know we're really proud that our products are used to entertain people and to actually make art. And and uh, you know it's 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 really a labor of love. I mean, it's I'm, I'm I consider myself very lucky. I I don't really think I'm working. Are you like us when you're when we watch a golf tournament and we see someone competing? Like that's our driver. We oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's our drum head. Look at that. Evan's logo there. Because you, you, guys, you guys have, have expanded yeah. a lot over the years where you started out. I, I mentioned it just a mere almost 350 years ago. little <laughs> town in Italy making um, guitar strings out of, I guess, guts. And now yeah. you, I, I don't, you probably still don't make them out of guts anymore. No, we, we don't do any technology. Yeah, we use, we use all synthetics and, st and metals. And, you know. Yeah, because we still make drivers out of guts. <laughs> So I'm going to have to have you talk to our R&D team about the synthetics. Yeah, they still thing. call them woods. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. What is that? That's, that's so weird. But you guys have expanded yeah, outside of that. And now just looking at all the products you do, you talk to any musician about the big names in music and yours pops up. And that's got to give you a lot of pride. Yeah, it does. It's great. It's, you know, I think we've, we've really created a foundation of products that you know we've focused on the things that actually make the sound a string a drum head a drumstick uh, a reed a mouthpiece you know um, and they're really important because they initiate the vibration they're actually as important as the golf ball for instance I mean if you don't have a good golf ball you're not gonna play great golf and you're not going to make great music without our products or products like them. Well, you felt like you're accusing me a little bit there of not playing great golf. <laughs> <laughs> or you mean just like generally, just like generally, someone? Come on, Jim. Yeah, well, I, I've heard about your swing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. We need a trombone thing there. Yeah, exactly. So what, what about the, the reed we were talking about that earlier as you guys are expanding this business? And something like reeds is really different from, Very different, from yeah. a guitar string. That's, a, that's actually a natural, a yeah, natural it is. substance. We, we, we make two products that are similar. The drumsticks are made from wood that we actually have a sawmill in Tennessee. And we cut the logs and you know make the dowels for drumsticks from American Hickory, which luckily is the best wood for uh, drumsticks. And for reeds, though, at Cane, it's a plant called Arundo Dunnox. It's like a bamboo, but it grows in only microclimates. So we actually have plantations in the south of France and in Mendoza, Argentina. So it's pretty good places to go visit and drink some great wine. <laughs> so cane grows really well where wine and grapes grow. Yeah. And it's... We it's, need to buy a reed business yeah. where the uh, wine's growing. But we actually we make the reeds right here um, in, Bur in um, Sun Valley, right by the Burbank Airport. airport. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh wait, wait. Oh, Velardo is on our team. Wants to know: Would 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 that cane grow in uh, heat lamps in a basement, for example? <laughs> With the right lamp. With, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it grows very well in California. Ah. Uh, what would like a drumstick for our in, in our business? With the you know, I'm thinking of the musicians at the highest level. Yeah. Our, our guys will know. They'll know within a gram or two sure. of a shaft weight. Will a, will a great drummer know? Exactly the t the weight of a of a it's drumstick. It's identical. I mean, we we actually have machinery that hits each stick and gets the natural vibrating frequency, and we pair those up that way, and then we pair them by weight to within three grams. So when you get a, a pair of sticks, they're matched, you know, and uh, really great players will demand certain weights which we, you know, it's really difficult to do for the mass market because you don't know what the weight of wood is going to be. It's a natural substance. But we keep separate inventories where we, we have selected, you know, the weights that particular artists uh, want. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes, but uh, very similar to what you guys do for the, for the pros. We'll get, yeah, we'll get the angry calls sometimes from, hey, well, this is my seven iron mm -hmm. is not tipped the exact same way. I mean, sure. you guys are getting those same kind of calls from of musicians. Course, so yeah. you're living on that edge of trying to create the best products for the people that yeah. demand the best. We, we have 4,500 artists on our roster from across all the different um, products we make. So it's quite quite a, f a few people managing that. It's six <laughs> full-time people managing the artist relations program. Phones ringing off the hook for products yeah, too, right? Yeah, you know, it's, and it's always, you know, you got to FedEx this to this hotel and, you know, 
you don't really want to see the FedEx bill, right? <laughs> no, well, we don't do that either. <laughs> no, you never do that. No, never, ever, ever do I ever overnight stuff to make up for the mistakes that I've made in my job. Never, ever, 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 ever. Well, that's why golf comes in, and we're going to talk about that in a second, how golf is factored into keeping you sane through the family business. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Jim Daddario from Daddario News. Kevin Kisner, and this is an Odyssey roll call. Here's a drill I like to do to help my putting. I set up the putter, two tees on either side of the heel and the toe with the ball in the middle. That allows you to work on solid contact every time. Line the putter up where I want the ball to start and try to swing the putter through the tees without hitting a tee. I think this will really help your game, help your contact, and a, a better roll with your putter. Welcome back to Call It Live. I'm Harry Arnett. We're here with our buddy Jimmy Strings from Daddario. And Jimmy Strings, let me ask you this question. Golf. Does it keep you sane, or does it make you go insane? <laughs> a little of both. <laughs> that was a little um, bit of a Charlie Rose question. I was yeah. really proud of that one. It just popped into yeah. my head. Very, sane very creative. Or insane. <laughs> actually, sane. I mean, it's one of the things I do where I actually forget about work for a period of time, which is wonderful. You know, so it is a great es escape for me, um, and it's challenging at the same time. So I enjoy being challenged. Um, I don't enjoy the challenge being too difficult for me, which God, as we all know, golf is uh, at times, but it is fun. And, you know, the, the great thing about golf is you can make three birdies and screw up five holes. You're still going to remember the three birdies, right? <laughs> so uh, it is a rewarding game at times, but it is definitely a distraction for me that's, you know, been very healthy for me, I think. And I know you have a technical approach to your business and production and precision. Are you a technical guy on the golf course at all? You know, not as much as I probably should be because I'm so tired of doing that for my job yeah. that uh, I get a little bit lazy about it. So going to like the, the fitting center today was kind of fun watching, uh, you know, the way they, they really go at it so scientifically. And I bet if I paid a little bit more attention, I'd probably be, you know, an improved golfer. But I, you know, I it's hard to devote that kind of mental energy to something you're supposed to be relaxing at, you know, but <laughs> it is it is fun though. And I probably should do more of technically applying things to my game. Are you a music guy? I gotta ask this, are you a music, do you listen yeah, to music on the golf course? Yeah, I, I do actually, yeah. out here I do. In New York, not so easy to do because we're walking and you know, you can't really carry a, a boom box with you, but <laughs> on my cart out here, I have a, a, a Bluetooth speaker and sometimes What's on there? What, what can we listen to when we're on there? I, I listen to a lot of classic rock because I'm just an old dinosaur, and I, you know, I, <laughs> I played in bands in the '60s and the '70s, and that's, uh, you know, how I really got interested in in the family business. I play the guitar. I was my dad's string tester, so I was the R and D guy from 13 years on, old. So, um, you know, I music is a big part of my life. My wife and I played in band together in high school, and we still play tomorrow night at the opening party for our memory guest at Madison. Will be there's a little bit of a jam session going on. So, be does fun. our audience get extra credit here when you said that you were a classic rock fan and not one of these idiots yelled out Freebird? And <laughs> Sounds of silence. <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Hello, Cleveland. Well, we really appreciate you being here. Yeah, it was we know fun. you're busy, and uh, we're huge fans of your company and huge fans of making, just like us, and you mentioned it, making the people that play this game and play for the love of it, whether they play for a living or just play for the love like you do, helping them perform better, and we really appreciate you being here. Oh, my pleasure. I loved it. That's Jimmy Strings from Mario. <laughs> Week. From the forum, we'll be live speaking of music. Cowley Live. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Cowley Live. Easy, right? Then, yeah. All right, Jim. Well, you got the full Harry Arnett treatment. Were you a little bit nervous walking in before you kind of went live? No. 
<laughs> not at all. No, we no. had two, not one, but two stand-up comics. We had Harry cracking jokes, and I feel like the audience was expecting a really high standard. I would have been nervous. Yeah, but they had so many retakes, I figured I was going to get a <laughs> chance to retake also. That's true, but you were live, so you knew it was going to be one take no matter what, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, so after talking with Harry, I thought that was really interesting that there is maybe a lot more similarities than one would initially think between music and what you do, making strings and other parts for instruments and golf, right? Absolutely. There's a lot of things in common. Yeah. I mean, it's we're trying to help somebody perform. And, you know, golf and music, very similar. Technology is something that's really helped advance, uh, especially in golf, the manufacturing side of things with equipment. I'd assume maybe it's the same thing for you? Yeah, it really is. I mean, that's the, the key to the success of our company has been investing in technology over and over again. Whether it's automation, a new process, or a new string, new materials, you know, better product. We do the same kind of things every day. Now, you know, we do have a sound chamber here at Callaway Golf to test the sounds yes. of putters. I don't know if really anyone else has this. Would you be able to go in there and tell us exactly what note the putters hit when we hit them? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't have a perfect <laughs> pitch, but I have a lot of people who work for me do, and we also have computers that'll tell us exactly what it is. Oh, okay. See, again, technology allows us, even if we're not perfect, right, right, they kind of make us look perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, favorite part of being uh, a part of Callaway Live? Uh, you know, it was exciting just to see the energy and the, and the great culture here at Callaway. I mean, it's very impressive. I'd like to send a bunch of my people here just to watch you guys work. I love the uh, camaraderie and the, the, the atmosphere here. It's really awesome. Well, you guys are welcome here anytime. Oh, and I'll take you up on it. There we go. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> sure.